Hello, my name is Ben Greenbaum, and today I'm going to talk briefly about case books, a new feature of Cisco Visibility, and as you will see, a feature that is available via other Cisco products as well. To review, Visibility is an incident investigation and response tool that Cisco includes at no extra charge with the purchase of qualifying Cisco Advanced Threat Solutions products. An important part of the mission for the Visibility tool is to help you get more value out of your Cisco security investments by allowing our products to work better together for you. Part of how Visibility accomplishes that mission is by improving and increasing communications across the products by offering hub-like API aggregation features, and part is by reducing the time spent by users in copying and pasting between different integrations to do investigations, threat hunting, and response. To those ends, Cisco Visibility has released a new function called Casebooks. Casebooks is a way to record, organize, and share sets of observables of interest, primarily in the course of an investigation. Casebooks allow you to quickly and intuitively get the current verdicts or dispositions on those observables, as well as easily pivot to individual data sources for more information. Casebooks is a combination of an API and a data model. All the code and data is hosted in visibility, but is made available to other integrating products from Cisco. This will allow you to work with a casebook across multiple interfaces in the Cisco Security and Advanced Threat Solutions portfolio with your data and notes intact from one to the other. Additionally, you can pivot into visibility at any time and see the investigation in detail. As of June 2018, the casebook functions are available in visibility itself and in Cisco ThreatGrid. The feature will be added to AMP for endpoints later this month. We will now walk through making and using a casebook in ThreatGrid and Visibility to demonstrate. This is a ThreatGrid analysis report as viewed in the cloud portal. If you're a customer, you will have hopefully noticed the V-shaped pivot menu icons next to all observables in the report. If you have set up a visibility account, you will have various visibility-powered options available to you in those pivot menus. One of them will be add to new casebook. Let's add the hash of the sample itself to a new casebook. You see the green message at the bottom right indicating that it has been added. Let's open the casebooks widget using the little blue notepad icon. You can see the hash here in the list of observables and immediately see that it is deemed malicious. There is a pivot menu here as well, which offers you various actions similar to what's in the main ThreatGrid interface behind it. We can give this casebook a name or title and a description and add some notes at the bottom. Let's add a name and a description for now. With our casebook now identified, we can continue to scroll through the analysis report, adding additional observables to the casebook by using either the pivot menu option. We now have the option add to current casebook added because we have a casebook currently open. And you can see the disposition of it immediately appear in the casebook. You can also use the drag icon, which is next to the pivot menu and clipboard icons next to every observable, and just drag it over to add to current casebook in the casebooks interface itself. We can also add observables in from other sources just by pasting into the text field here if required. We can continue to add additional observables to the case as required. From here, we might go to another interface to continue gathering observables, for example, into AMP for endpoints to search for this file hash, or we can go straight into visibility by clicking the investigate button. Once in visibility, we can see the investigation begin to populate as the system does our lookups for us against each of the configured data sources. While it does that, let's open up the casebooks widget and load the case. This demonstrates that we have access to all the same information across the integrated portfolio products. Now that the investigation has completed, we see that all of our observables have been researched across our modules. 
We have our five observables here in the visibility investigation and the five observables that we loaded into visibility from the casebook listed here. So right now we have Casebook's functionality in Visibility and in ThreatGrid. Very soon, perhaps by the time you're watching this, we will have Casebook's functionality in AMP for Endpoints as well. We're going to continue this expansion. More and more Cisco products are going to have access to the Casebook API and are going to make use of that access to include Casebooks in their own interfaces. And in this way, your investigations can follow you across a unified Cisco security architecture. This is the most recent way in which Cisco Visibility is bringing the Cisco security portfolio together to help you protect your environment more efficiently. Thank you very much.